Converting desert sand into soil seems to be really possible now. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to my channel. And today, I want to talk about how China converts some of its desert region into something kind of like an oasis. And this is just an addition to my existing video before, but this focuses more on how China converts its desert sand into productive soil. But before anything else, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell for you to receive new upcoming videos from my channel. And without further ado, let's just jump right into the topic. Transforming desert into productive land is already taking place in North China's Inner Mongolia. And many food plants like corn, tomatoes, sorghum, or even sunflowers are already growing there. And this event causes the transformation of 200 hectares of desert into kind of like an oasis in just 6 months. So how did they do that? It's very hard to make a desert become a productive land, but because of the new breakthrough discovered by experts at Chongqing Jiadong University, converting desert sand into soil seems to be really possible now. It is all because experts at Chongqing Jiadong University develop a paste made of substance found in plant cell walls that when combined with desert sand, it is able to retain air, water, and nutrients which are enough to sustain life for the plants to grow. And here are some sample videos on how it is done. It's really a breakthrough experiment from China in turning desert sand into soil. And in just three years, China hopes to transform 50% of its desert lands into forests by treating them with this kind of new technology. Now the question is, how much is the cost of doing this? Well, it is said that the cost of artificial materials and machines for transforming sand into soil is lower compared with controlled environmental agriculture and reclamation. That's according to the statement of Yang Qinggo, who is a professor at Chongqing Jiadong University. Another question is, have they tried or applied this kind of new technology to the other parts of the world where there are deserts? Fortunately, the answer is about to become yes because, aside from transforming China's own 200 hectares of desert into productive land where food-producing plants are already growing, this new technology is also to be applied in the desert part of Abu Dhabi. According to the article at the national.ae, which was posted earlier this year, researchers from Chongqing Jiadong University will be given 10 square kilometers of Abu Dhabi to cultivate desert grasses, vegetables, and shrubbery in the Spartan interior of the Emirate, where 85% of the land is classified by the government as naturally degraded. Abu Dhabi is an opportunity to see if this new technology can be applied in one of the most extreme climates on Earth. 
According to the article, Dr. Tani L. Ziodi, who is the Abu Dhabi's Minister of Climate Change and Environment, said, We are looking forward to implementing it here in the United Arab Emirates. And he added, saying, We are going to give full support to ensure the success of this project. So, what do you think of this kind of China's breakthrough? For me, it's really amazing. And I want to add here, I hope they will also transform the Sahara Desert into a productive land. Imagine, that's the biggest desert in the world. Anyway, thanks to China's effort, they show us that converting desert sand into a productive soil is really possible. Okay, that's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell for you to receive new upcoming videos from my channel.